Hi everyone, my name's Dave, the newest member of the Traction team, and one of my first jobs was to take a look at the plugins in Traction, so I thought I'd take this time to explain some of the problems people have and also some of the things that I think are really cool that Traction can do. We tried to make the plugin scan as quick as possible, so if you do a fresh scan, this should be relatively quick, depending on how many plugins you have installed. Any subsequent scans will only scan new or changed plugins, so it can be instant if nothing has changed. Any plugins that crash during the scan process will appear in red and be omitted from any subsequent scans. If you want to try and rescan these, just click the item and press the delete key. If you want to scan a single plugin, you can simply drag and drop it into the window. It will then scan and appear at the top of the list. This is only possible for VST plugins. Due to security measures introduced in Windows Vista and are present in Windows 7.2, some plugins require administrator rights to run because they need to write to your program files directory. The easiest way to do this is to right click on the traction icon, open the properties window, go to the compatibility tab and make sure run this program as an administrator is ticked. Once you've done this you should be able to open traction and rescan your plugins. Any previously unavailable ones should then appear. Some plugins require they be installed to their default locations, possibly in the program files, so it's best to accept this and run the program as an administrator. Note that only 32-bit plugins will work in the 32-bit version of Traction and 64-bit plugins in the 64-bit version. If you go to the user interface settings, you will see several options for displaying your plugin list. You can either view the list as a menu or as a tree. You can also sort your plugins by disk location, category, or manufacturer. One of the cool things you can do in Traction is assign quick control parameters to plugins so you can easily adjust commonly used controls. If we take a look at Massive, right click the plugin icon and choose Select Quick Control Parameter. If we assign that to OSC1 Pitch, You'll see a new slider appear on the icon, which we can use to adjust that parameter very quickly and easily. Similarly, in the delay plugin, we can change the feedback. This is really useful if you have a lot of plugins with a control that you constantly change, so you don't have to continually open the plugin UI or the properties area. Of course, this is assignable, so if you select quick control parameter and assign it to a free MIDI controller number, when you click on a filter, it will control the assigned parameter. That's it for now, but we're busy working on exciting new features for Traction 5 at the moment, so stick around on the forums, let us know what you think, and we'll have more to show you soon.